Hello, if you have constant paper jam or paper jam error frequently, this sensor is where the problem is um, likely from. And this is a HP 1132 printer. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to clean out the sensor pathway. So if dust or debris or piece of paper is hanging on this particular sensor, it will keep sensing that there is a paper there. Meanwhile, there is no paper there. And it will keep giving you error message on your on the screen of the of the printer so what i'm going to do is to clean out um the sensors here and this sensor is located on top of your fuser unit so what you have to do is just to disassemble your print your printer and get to the um, fuser area that is where you're going to get this uh, particular sensor especially for hp 1132 printer and it can also work for other um hp printer that are laser jet Okay, other HP printer that's a laser jet. The most likely when you keep getting frequency paper error and there is no paper inside, the problem is from this particular sensor. There is a piece of paper that is stuck in between the sensor pathway. So this is a sensor. I'm going to remove it for you to see. I won't remove it completely because there's a cable attached to it, but I'll just remove it enough so that I can be able to clean out the, the pathway of the sensor just to make sure that there is no uh, paper or any form of dust or debris block blocking it so, so that is not the only thing that can cause frequent a uh, paper jam just spring this particular spring i'm touching right now can also be the core print if the spring is weak or the spring is uh, out of joint it will give you that um, frequent paper error because it won't be able to move up and down the uh, sensor pathway thereby giving the printer forced uh, false error message that is the paper in between meanwhile there is no paper it is just your spring is not able to move up and down in and out of the sensor pathway so the way this particular sensor and uh, work is that um, the spring is supposed to move in and out of the sensor at, at intervals each time the paper passes through it so if the spring is not able to move in and out the sensor will give an error message that is a paper hanging in your printer meanwhile there is no paper so what i'm going to do right now is to check the uh, the strength of the spring if it still bounces the way it's supposed to bounce and then i'll be able to know if i'm going to replace the the spring completely or i will just um, rewind the spring so the first thing i want to do because to get the spring is a bit i don't know it's a bit um, difficult to be able to get it because it's not something that you sell they readily sell separately it comes together with the fuser unit so what you are going to do first hand is to rewind the spring what i mean by rewinding the spring is i am going to uh, move the the weight of the spring around the its pathway once i'm going to roll it around its pathway just one so when I roll it once, the spring becomes stronger. So that is how you're going to solve it. But in other ways, if you can't do it that way, you have to replace the spring. But I would advise you to just try the way, the, the roll it and then rewind it the way I'm asking you to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it now. Meanwhile, if you have not done already, I'd like you to like and subscribe to the channel. I have great videos on how to fix all kinds of office equipment from laptops, depth desktops, printers, scanners, CCTV, PABS, intercom, and the rest. So subscribe to the channel so you can have access to my timely videos when I drop them. So this is a spring. I'm going to gently rewind it. So I'm going to hold the, uh, the wedge of the spring and I'm going to move around its circle. There's a circle that the, the spring, they want the spring around a particular plastic. So you're going to remove the wedge and you're going to roll it around the wedge one more time so that it is stronger. When it's stronger, it will be able to bounce, move in and out of the sensor pathway so that your, your printer won't detect any paper jam or paper in your printer error.
So this is the spring and this is the plastic I was talking about. So what I'm going to do, the wedge of the spring, I'm going to move it around that particular plastic. Okay, I'll get it up. I'm going to move it around. So or better still, if the spring has become too weak, what I'm going to do is to replace this particular spring with another one. There are actually two springs here and two sensors. So one of them, I can still rewind the spring and still use it again. But the second one, I have to replace the spring with another one. So this is actually another spring that I'm replacing it with. I had to remove it from another printer and then I will just use it on it. In case you want to get the print, in case you have another printer laying around the spring, you can get it in the uh, processor unit. Just open the processor, you'll see a sensor there that is a spring attached to the sensor. Remove it and then use it. So if you're able to do this, the printer uh, paper jam issue will be sorted out. So, so, so that is it, folks. Hope it works for you. Thanks, and I'll see you some other time.